want to be able to give an experience to every single kid. If it's just like this, like, you know, one-year-old little toddler moving around in the world, or if it's literally a 90-year-old grandma, which we have had, and I'm so happy. <laughs> um, or if somebody has any kind of a disability, or anybody has, you know, any, any age, any group of person, I want everybody to come here and have an individual experience. Like, uh, people, they sign up and they say, how many kids, what are the ages of the kids, and all of that stuff. So I can gear the program to make that make sense for this family. Being able to adapt and to change with what we're doing and what the dogs are doing with what the environment is doing. And so just because we don't have snow, we actually just take our dogs out with a wheeled cart. We have great brakes on our wheeled carts. So as soon as we have consistent cooler days in the fall time, uh, I'm waking up early in the morning, uh, getting the dogs out. They like to run with the fresh dew or the fresh fresh frost. Um, they like to run later in the evening as well just because when that temperature finally drops and the you know the hills get a little chilly the dogs get really excited. The experience of going dog sledding on wheels and on what we call uh, dry land it's like in a complete adrenalized uh, like it's a rush it's so cool <laughs> and it's just different when we're on snow but it's not per se better i look both forward to both seasons like so well so exciting we're gonna need some harnesses <laughs> Every single time that we come back, it's just always, everything was perfect, guys, you couldn't have done better. And it's being honest to him about it. But it's like... <laughs>